Karen Bennett, and she's going to be talking about uh, integrating, uh, sorry, integration of geocoding with Python. Everybody, can you hear me? There's a little, a little bit of an echo here, but um, so let me just introduce myself. This is my first PyCon. Um, I've been in the open source community for a lot of years, but more in the Linux. Um, I grew up uh, with a startup called Red Hat, so I was involved with Linux and the compiler and profiling tools, and it was pretty cool to see a number of presentations here talking about the profiling tools. But I, about a year ago, I moved back to Canada and have joined a company up here in Canada, and they're using Python. So I must say, this is one of the nicest languages I've ever seen. Um, it's, I used to use PHP, um, that, that naughty word, um, and C and C++ before, but I am a huge component now and supporter of Python. Anybody that asks me, I tell them use Python. So let me just do one slide about uh, sort of Trapeze is the company I work for. It's here in Canada. And basically what we do is build websites. But everything is built on um, J Django and Python. But you'd be surprised where websites are these days. Um, we're doing a lot of work in digital signage. So the retail stores are going to start using Python in all of their apps of doing digital displays. So it's pretty cool. So again, our stack is Python driven. We're still on just 2.6. We haven't moved to 3 yet, but soon, hopefully. Um, and it's Django and Nginx and Ubuntu. Um, probably the most um, used Linux, um, being that I'm from Red Hat. I was a little sad to see they weren't using that. But anyway, um, it's still a Linux distro. So my talk today and where I've been in the last sort of six months is playing around with geocoding associated with Python. So let me just do a little bit of de uh, definition. So geocoding to me is, is really converting a street address into spacic data, geospacic data, um, so that you can display it on a map. And then georeferencing is this idea that you can use that data and display it or analyze it or a query it. So why have we chosen Python? I mean, I, I'm probably not saying anything that all of you already know, but there's a lot of great libraries out there. So it's fairly easy to get this code up and running. So there's Python libraries that do reading and writing of this data. It deals with map projections and manipulating the data directly within a Python code base. So again, the GIS community have been using Python for a lot of years and well-established groups out there. So again, I, I, I've been exposed, as I say, in the last six months to a lot of geospatial data. I think the traditional one that most people know about is mapping. So Google Maps is, is pretty widely known, um, street maps, et cetera. But there's an up and coming sort of technology, KML, which again is key, keyhole mar uh, markup language, which uh, Maponix is doing a lot of work of gathering that type of data. So it's this idea of a network or a boundary. So, you might live in Leaside, so now your data can be very specific to sort of your personal needs and wants. And then there's a set of um, what I'll call location-based services, but they're really real-time. So again, I'm sure everybody in the audience has a smartphone, and it's got your GPS on it. So there's more and more applications that Trapeze is seeing that um, sort of clients want built, where it knows exactly where the person is um, and can target sort of marketing material or information. So again, uh, geospatial data, it's not really interesting in itself. It's how it's used and sort of presented to the user. So again, within the Python community, I'm sure 
Again, if you're not in this space, but there's a ton of, of different projects that are associated and can help you with doing some of this mapping. Um, GeoJango is one that we've been using um, and uh, building some additional libraries on ourselves. And so just listening to Eric's uh, talk before here, uh, one of the things that Trapeze has not been doing is giving back to the community. And coming from sort of the Linux world, that is more what I'm used to. So um, part of my uh, desire to come here was to get to know how we might be able to, to provide some of what we've been doing back into the community and others get to use it. So one of the projects that we worked on, it's with a realtor company, uh, Royal LePage. So we're taking their data and mapping um, on maps um, locations of where, uh-oh, is it time? Oh my gosh, <laughs> five minutes go really, really fast. Anyway, let me go to my last slide. <laughs> I'll put the... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'll put the slides up somewhere, but thank you very much. And if there's anybody in the audience that is interested in this technology, I'd love to learn and share. Thanks a lot. Hey, guys. So I don't know if you...